little one is just about to start, the other comes knocking. For honor, her little son Nana was a source of happiness, the only thing that placed a smile on her face. Behind her smile was Ben Obiese, her husband Obiese. Obiese took ill for close to two years. His leg was, was ravaged by a canker sore that festered at the dawn of each day. An unusual case that could not be linked to anything physical or spiritual. Come in. He needs succor as much as he needs strength. And only you can help him with that. But not with tears in your eyes. We have been taking care of him for the past two weeks. What are we to expect? What about the soul? It expands and festers at the brick of each new dawn. It's killing him. I think I'm losing him. No, no, no. Don't say that. Remember there is power in the tongue. What else do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? That man in there is not the man I used to know. Then you can help him. Help him come back. Talk to him. Make him believe that, that those drugs and the injections will work and that in no distant time he will be fine. That man in there is gone. His mind is far gone from us. What you see in there is not obese. All you see is a shadow of himself. Put yourself together. Just be strong for him, okay?
Lion, king of the jungle. Agnes, how are you? I'm fine. Come sit. <clears throat> you told me that you were sketching me. So, can I say it? I'm not done with that yet. Okay, let me see the much you've done. No way. You're not supposed to see it until I'm done. Hmm. That's frustrating. Come on, Agnes. Patience is a virtue and you know it, remember? Okay. You win. So how's um how's Obiaza? Obiaza. His case is a very difficult one. He's losing hope. You see, the soul continues to fester. I've kept asking this question. What is wrong with Obiese? I asked this question when he was still at the hospital. But nobody could give me any answers. And now that he has been brought home, I still continue to ask what is wrong with Obiese? Isn't there any kind of improvement at all? We can only hope. Um, well. so, um, how is my artist doing? <sighs> well, I'm, I'm I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. What? You said we were coming to the house yesterday. We never showed up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I went to Amago with my father and we didn't come back in time. I promise I'll make it up to you. I will. So, how do you intend to do that? I'll be your guest tonight. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Oh, yes. He's slowly drifting out. Life is going out of that young man. The soul festers and dries him up. Hey! You see, sometimes I wonder what kind of illness that defies doctor's injection and medicine. The same thing I wonder too. The same thing I, I wonder each time I sit in that room at night watching him grin and grunt in pain. Now, I want to lose my husband. I cannot live without him. Eh, 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 don't start. Don't start. Don't even go there. Eh? Think about your son. No, no, no. Think about me. Think about everybody around you. I'm sure you don't want to break our heart. Eh? See, Obieze is my only brother. My only brother. I will not watch him die. I must make sure I get him back to his feet. How? Eh, how? I may not have the answer now, but I'm sure sooner or later I'll give you an answer. Ah, my please, if you do anything you can to make to keep my husband alive, and I'll yeah. pay you whatever it is you desire, anything at all, I'll pay. Eh? Yeah, I don't want my husband to die. No, he could. He could. Hmm? Mm. Please. Hey. I don't I don't have anything to say yet until I finish this food. Oh. 
The truth is that my stomach is already full. But I'm looking at this remaining one. It will pay me to leave it behind, but I don't have anywhere else to put it. <laughs> Let me add one more. You, I have really, I have really enjoyed myself. Your hands are not only good at the hospital, they are also very good in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, stop. Now you're going to flatter me. You're going to make me share with your flattery. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I just said the fact. <laughs> I just said the fact. <clears throat> what can I say? Um, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> Anyways, I. Hi. Hi. Mm. I'm happy you came. I am happier. See, if I have my way. I will spend all my evenings here with you. <laughs> we'll tell stories, do everything, and I will eat very delicious food. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> well. Anyways, I... I enjoyed your company. Mm. You know... You're such a wonderful person. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You focus. Yeah. Very creative and industrious. They don't exaggerate. I'm just like every other guy in this village. Nah, that's a big lie. No, you're different. See, you're just a wonderful person. Very focused, intelligent. Ah. I love you. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. See, I love you more than anybody would love this sweet Odara. <laughs> You are sweeter than this sweet Odara. <laughs> this is Odara I want to know. <laughs> you are sweeter. I will take care of them. I will take care of them, but nothing will happen to you. You'll be fine. When you cross, you have crossed. Obiasa, if it is a man or a woman that did this to you, it will not be well with them. Mm -hmm. We are almost there. 
Life is so cruel. With a blink of an eye, everything is gone just like that. We were so happy yesterday, but today our joy has been cut short by grief, and we remain scattered to the winds. Everything will be fine. I wish I were a child and would have believed that. Sometimes, all we need is the mind of a child to surmount all our obstacles. Your husband, he is a good man. A man of justice. Does that, and I believe that he will never allow him to die just like that. Does he know? Who? God. Does he know my husband still exists? Does he know we still exist? Come on, Anna. I don't think he knows. If he did, why would he allow Obiese go through so much pain for months now? Why? Why would he allow that canker so eat and drain the life out of his soul every single day? Why? No, I don't think he knows we still exist. Oh no, you don't have to talk like that. And why won't I talk like that? Why? Why won't I talk like that? If he was God, he should act like God. Our patience is so stretched that it's about to snap. It's all right. Just calm down. Why me? Why me? Why, Obiezi? Why? Why? Get yourself together. Everything will be fine. Obiezi. Then came that night. That cold night that gave birth to a strange morning. Something must have gone wrong. The owl had never clamored for nothing. Papa, you're up. Good morning. Your mind appears to be racing through a lot. Um, nothing of um, much importance. Mazeli. The present long bed of an aged he goat may not be a sign of sexual strength, but as signs of tides of time. Tell me, what disturbs your mind? Papa, dear, there you go again. There you go again. Mazeli, I am waiting to hear what troubles your mind. Last night. There is something that doesn't seem right about last night. Yes. I had the quick quick clamor all night. And it seems something left the land. A bad sign. A bad sign. I feel goosebumps all over. 
Mazeli! Mazeli! Edu? What is it? Edu, what is the matter? The hawk has finally preyed on the chick. What, what are you talking about? Obieze is dead. Hey! hey! When? Last night. Death dragged the Bieze away. His death was sung. Tears ran down people's eyes. Hearts were broken. A son of the soil was gone. How could this be? Who did he leave his wife and son for? Oh, ah, indeed, it is a short life we live. If he wants a piece of land, he should go somewhere else and find it, not ours. Mm -mm. He said that uh, he wants he, he wants to build a small mill. Yes, so he can employ the youths of this village. Stories. But since when did he become a, 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 a philanthropist? When did he start caring for the youths of this village? <sighs> Mazeli. We need money in this family. Hmm? He said he's going to pay us well. Mazeli, you need to start something reasonable. Your sister needs to be in school. We need money to pay debts we are owing. Eh? I don't need his money to be useful. I will rise. When my time comes, mm. we don't have to give out our land so cheaply. Not to a man that that we almost use our tears to wash his feet just for him to lend us money when Mama was sick and hospitalized. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, and um, I've had. I will find a way to. Turn him down when he comes again. You don't need to find a way. Don't worry, I will turn him down myself. Ah, how are you? I'm fine. How about your father? Is he in? What can he do for you? Uh, we have an appointment. If the appointment is about our parcel of land that you want to take, the answer is 
No. Let me speak with your father first. I've just told you that the answer is no. Let me speak with your father. That's enough. Huh? That's enough. So you are in. And you ask this little brat to come and insult me here. Look at this carnival. Looking to, to, to rip where you did not. So. You call me a carnival? Udenze, please, I am sorry. Eh? Just forgive him. Eh? Please. Sorry for yourself. Eh? Yes. Sorry for yourself. Please listen. You. I just merely wanted to help you and your wretched family. Really? Yes. I am no more interested. <laughs> I see. Ah, the cow defecates, thinking he's soiling the pasture. <laughs> Mbana, we shall see whose buttocks will get soiled first. I got who only a troll who gave us the Mbana. Also, no like it. Super this man one manya. Ilo manya. If I slap this man. Who told you I'm here? You know, we have uh, our ways of getting secret information around here. You do? Mm -hmm. Hit the nail on the head. Who told you my whereabouts? <laughs> Fine. Isn't it uh, your sister? Hi. Hi. That girl will never learn to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> anyway, I am. Um, I came to help um, Honor, mm. um, Beza's wife, okay. to clear this place. And she wants to start uh, tilling. Only a differ. No. Oh, it's been long I saw her last too. Yeah, my brother. You have seen how turnout of events has made her a yeah? But the consolation is that she has the heart of a man and the beauty of a goddess. Yeah? Mm. Hey, that is the one you'll be quick to see. Tell me you don't see the same thing and I'll keep my mouth shut. Does it matter? Does it not matter? Hey, do. Yeah, like it now. Mm? I need to finish this work before midday. Wait, do you even have time for your art business at all? That one is left for me to worry about, not you. To be useful, eh? Help me clear this tents. <laughs> I'm not jobless now. Look at this bushman hmm? from Bush area. Do I look jobless? Have one. I'm not jobless. Come and be useful. All this your, all this your meandering. In people's farms. How are you? How is my He's not from school. Am I coming from the market? Eh? I'm coming from the house. Yeah. Eh. Why don't you tell me you brought all this for us? I brought them for you. Are you going to stand there asking me questions? Just take this thing. It's for you. It's for you. Hey, 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 Anna, I have to tell you the truth. You know, you're my daughter. See, it's gone past six months now that uh, Obias, Obias left. Life has to go on. Eh? You need to, no, you need to learn to, to, to carry on. Mama, I'm fine. fine. No, you're not fine. You're not fine, Anna. Eh? Just look at you. I see, they say the heart's letter is written in the eyes. I see it. Eh? You need to get back on your feet. You need to look past pain. Eh? Mama, it's not easy. It's not as easy as you think. It's not easy. I have threaded that path which you now walk. I know your pain. Your papa did not die as 
earlier as Obieze did. Obieze died immediately we are about to start life together. Oh my God, is it God? Where is on the leg? On the hand? On the neck? God is a God. But my own cut was so deep that I fear if I'll ever get to right. Mama, you don't understand. Obiezi and I were so in love. We were in love. Obiezi was the kindest, hardworking, loving man I've ever met. But he has gone. He's gone now. Eh? Gone forever. And you? You are still young. And alive, very much alive. Eh? Eh? Mama, I think it's better we leave this discussion for another day. Oh, now your son. My son needs to grow up in his father's house. Hi. That one. Uh -uh. You're back already. Yes. Don't tell me you're done. Ah. I've finished the whole thing. It doesn't take a whole day to get hey. yeah. Mama, mm -hmm. when did you come? I just came here quite long. You're welcome. Yeah. Ah. Mama Mazeli is helping me with the farm clearing. Oh, hey, hey. Ah, eh? Thank hey, you. how kind of you? Ah, it's Thank nothing, you. Mama. Thank you. Oh? It's nothing. Ah. Mm. I was actually making this um, soup to bring to you to the farm. Ah, you shouldn't have worried yourself. Ah, we have See, I owe you a meal. Eh? Okay, come see you. Come back and talk to you. Um, fine, I'll come back. Yeah? Promises uh, are made to first. be kept. Uh, Mama? Mazeli works hard to fulfill know. his promises to obey. I'll, I'll, I'll go. They were good friends. Didn't they say that there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother? Mother, hmm? you are going out. Yes. What is ready? Don't worry about me. I'm not hungry. I'm fine. But my plan is to come back this afternoon. I know. What is wrong? <sighs> Isn't it? Are you not hungry? Everything is fine. All right. How do I look? Fine. Now hold this. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> than we expect. The signs are very obvious. I think so too. Considering how late the rain came last year. Are you considering uh, cultivating cassava? Uh, or yams or yams? Um, I'm thinking of little of yams but more of um, kokoyam and vegetables. That's not bad. I am really enjoying this food. Mm -hmm. I can see that. 
I taste... made it specially for you. Ah, that is that is wonderful. It tastes exactly like my mother's. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, don't say that. Ah, I have missed her cooking. Yeah. Mm. You understand? Bearing the loss of a loved one is not easy. Mm. Thank you very much for this. Razi, I should be the one thanking you. Do you know what you did for me? If it was only me, I would have, it would have taken me ages to finish clearing that farm. Mona, what have I done that nobody has ever done? A lot, too. You did a lot for me, and I will keep thanking you and thanking you. Honor is enough. You have thanked me the whole day. Hazel, you don't understand. You don't know how nice you've been very to, you've been to me. You've been very helpful. The other day you helped me with the licking. Today you cleared the whole family. And you say I should stop thanking you. No, I'll See, keep on thanking you. Even the gods. Even the gods will visit me with their wrath if I allow Obiense's compound to collapse. Mm -hmm. Obiesa and I, we are more than brothers. His house, my house. His family, my family. I know it will not be easy for you. But be very strong. Be very strong. And in case you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. That is to say, when you're ready, Till that land, let me know. I'll finish it. That would be too much, man. That would be too much. Why don't you allow me to decide? Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> Is enough. Is enough. You're such a good man. You see, why how can I stop thanking you? Eh? Dalu. Eh? <laughs> Dal, thank you. Thank you. Ah, How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. Come, 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 come. Who is that girl that just passed? The one that just passed now? Oh, that's Ona. Obiezi's widow. Obiezi Onyama? Yes. Polycap Onyama's late brother. Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you very much. Eh? <laughs> okay, Chief. Okay. Uh, Chief, sir. Uh, anything? 
anything for the boys. <laughs> what do you mean? Eh? Eh? No, I was actually asking you, is there any other question, any question? No, no, no not really. Thank you very much. I will see you later. Eh? Look at this useless man. Very thin. I, I feel your pains. Honestly, I, I don't know the evil wind that blew it off my mind. I, I completely forgot. Could it be the same evil wind that blew it off your mind that you forgot to see me in the past three days now? I mean, three good days! I prepared your favorite meal, waited for you, and you didn't show up. You couldn't even send a message across to me. The first day passed, the second day, and this is the third day. And it's still me that came looking for you. It's not fair. I'm sorry. I don't have anything to hang on to. I'm really sorry. That's all I can say. Are you sure? I am. You've not been at your art stand for the past three days now. <sighs> that. That I. I don't feel like it. Nobody has picked anything from there in the past two months. And everybody in the village has suddenly become allergic to art. That's not enough reason for you to give up. No. Agatha, I need to. I need to redefine my life. Responsibilities are piling up. My father, my sister, and myself. Listen, life is tough. A man needs money in his pocket to be a man. Yeah, I know. I understand. Everything will be fine. I know. It's, it's not as if I'm, I'm going to entirely give up on art. No, no, no. Art is life. But I'm, I'm just thinking of an alternative way of, of survival. Okay. Um, whatever you decide, I'm with you. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. You don't want this. No. Um, here. What's that for? Please. I don't understand. Please, don't say no. Just take it. You might need it for something. Agnes, I should be doing this, not the other way around. Thank you. Welcome. The lion from East Den this very hot afternoon. <laughs> I pray. A very fast pray. 
<laughs> Cisco! Cisco! Oh, no. Thank you. I don't Thank you. Let me go and uh, get you color. No, 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 Polly. That will be for another time. Sit down. Mm. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, Chief Udenza. I hope all is well. Yes. Because. When a man sees what his eyes are not used to, he is forced to wipe his eyes over and over and over again to ensure that he is not dreaming. <laughs> Demites feed both on wood and flesh and yet dwell underground. Hmm. Chief Undenza, <laughs> how may I help you? Well, is a two-way traffic. traffic. Chief Udenz, uh, leave traffic. Traffic is the word for the city people. Uh, See, the bed mm. does not concern itself with the issues of toothpick. Mm. You know why? It does not have teeth. So tell me, what exactly are you talking about? Complain. It's about honor your late brother's widow. Oh. I drove past her three days ago. I think she needs help. In fact, your entire family needs help. I want to be of help. Eh? I yeah. want to be of help. Chief Udenza, he in Harigari, Konarigari, Narigari. Come out plain. I don't understand you. All right. <laughs> I am following, but I don't understand you completely. <laughs> This is for you. <laughs> I think this will make you understand. <laughs> Don't tell me that all these are for me. More are yet to come. Chifu <laughs> Denze. Um, well, I think I am beginning to understand you. And quickly too. <laughs> now that you are beginning to understand, I want to remarry honor your late brother's widow. Hmm? Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, let me get this. All right. Welcome. Um, no. Uh, ah. Ah. Hey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Please sit down. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey. Uh, take, just manage this one. Eh? Uh, you shouldn't have bothered. Uh, it's not a nice, it's just a um, Oberoji. Kula. Manage it. All right. You're Thank welcome. You. So, how is your sister and your father? Ah, uh, they are fine. We are alive. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm breathing. How is it, Nana? How is it? He's fine, oh boy. He's yet to return from school. Uh, mm. Okay. <laughs> I um I got this for you. This is for you. Yeah? And this is for Nana. Thank you. Thank you, Dalo. God will bless you. Oh, this is too much now. It is nothing. Thank you. Uh, have you decided on uh, when to take the land? Um, as soon as the next rain drops, by then the 
the soil would be very would have gained enough water. There's no problem. Once you're ready, eh? Don't forget to let me know. I will. Thank you. Come and do it. Hmm? You're welcome, oh. uh, uh, I'll be on my way. Uh -uh. But you just got here now. I had to have. I left home since morning. Just that uh, I got these things and I decided to come here and uh, see you. And mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Hello. Okay. I'll be on my way. Eh? And I, I just want to say thank you for everything. Hello, Chuku Gozebi. Oh. It's nothing. <laughs> thank you. What seemed like a dark cloud began to gather. His kindness and generosity seemed to be touching a part of honor, a part that must never be touched, a sacred part. Mosquito was asked why it normally cries to the ear and itself. And he does that to alert the ear that he's still alive. Just like the mosquito, I've come to show myself to you people. Since none of you bothered to see me for close to one year now. Mama Nuku, it's not like that. It's like what? <laughs> It's not like that. Eh? The issue is that so much water has passed under the bridge. Eh? Okay, Udod. Eh? Even if you yourself don't bother to see me, don't hold back the children. Encourage them to come and see their grandmother Why she's still alive. Oh. You win. Eh? You <laughs> I know that voice. Hmm. Huh? Hey, come on. Oh, you did him. Hmm? The one that looks like my husband. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. I'm fine. Sit down. Hmm. Hey. When did you come? I'm just coming, not quite long. How I'm are welcome. you? I'm fine. You're fine, I can yeah, see that. Very fine. Papa. <laughs> You didn't see him. Nah. You've not kept your word. Ha! Don't start. Don't start. Udod, you don't normally talk to your son. Surprisingly, we spotted him with one of He is now moving around with her. Is that true? Where is she from? Her Where name is, is Agnes. And she's from Ekulobia. Mm -hmm. She works in the community health center. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, she's ah, Mama. She's she very, very beautiful. Who are you to talk to? That question was meant for me, not you. But you didn't want to answer. Hope she's beautiful. Ah, Mama. She's very, very beautiful. Oh, Maka. <laughs> My son, let me tell you. Friendship is not marriage. You have to go straight and marry her before another one does. Another does. Yes. Hey, Manuku. The thing is that I am I, I'm not really ready for marriage. I'm... Why? Money? Hey. Let me tell you. When your grandfather, my late husband, married me, he had nothing. I can even remember vividly this is your father. When he came to my house, asking for your mo late mother's hand in marriage, mm. he came with half keg of palm oil. He had nothing. I explained myself that day that I mistakenly hit my toe on a stone on my way to your house. <laughs> 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 the power is still. 
Hey, my son, what I'm saying is that everything is not money. Money will come when it will, co it will come. Go ahead and marry her, please. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> How are you? I'm your own time, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Um, you almost see me home. You have to turn back now, okay? Thank you for walking me up to this point. You have to turn back now. I'll miss you. I I miss you already. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm? Tomorrow? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I can't wait for the sun to go down for tomorrow to come. I can't wait to melt in your house and listen to your sweet words. Really? I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow. All right, go. Go. <laughs> go. Don't go. Bye. All right. <laughs> go. Hey, do. What are you doing here? This is the father's corridor. Mm -mm. You should think of seeing that girl's parents. I mean, <coughs> hey, Basil, a Colombia people will not be happy with you if you impregnate their daughter. <laughs> See, let me tell you if you give me money today, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. tomorrow. I mean, if you love that girl loves you. I know. And then she has always been at your side. Despite the disturbances from some of these jobless men around. I still know that. Okay. And, my friend, she will make a very good wife. A supportive one at that. Hmm? Unlike some of these girls who do nothing but lazy around waiting for some of these uh, city men who just come down, get married to them, and rescue them from the iron claws of poverty their father had bred. <laughs> you do? Hmm? If you see those girls, eh? Mm. Tell them to their faces. No, I'm just being realistic. <laughs> <laughs> but you are very correct too. Mm. No, no. Why do you even cling so much to your mother? Don't you know you are not the man of the house? Yes. No, no, I hope you are fine. You are fine, eh? Or if you are fine, I'll just sit up. Sit up. Sit up, sit like a man. Hmm? 
Odense's interest in honor continued to heighten. She was too beautiful and young to be a widow, so he thought he was out to use what he had to get what he wanted. It was all about money. Well, the journey is not bad at all. Yeah. But that girl is looking more beautiful by the day. I don't know the can get See, my family always have an eye for beautiful women. Really? Of course. <laughs> well, of course, perhaps um, your late brother did, but not you. And what do you mean by that? Your wife is nothing to be compared with to that beauty they call honor. Chief Udenza, what manner of talk is that one? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't take me serious. I was just clowning. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> so what do we do? We have to do all that we need to do. Good. Yes. I can't wait to make her mine. Mm. Oh. Soft. Looking flat. Oh, her hips. Oh. Nah. <laughs> I think we need to move, move fast. Huh? And then fast we shall be. Fast we shall be. Oh, yeah. This for you. <laughs> hey! Chief who does Don't worry, don't worry. I I'm want with you. To make her mind. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. The heart got us up so many things that the eyes cannot see. You know how I hate being sneaked up on. Oh, sorry. That is honor. You really make her look so beautiful than she really is. Everything, everything else grows old, except envy. I sense envy. Now I get to go back. Trouble? Agnes, of course. Hmm. See, brother. It shouldn't be fair if you break that girl's heart. She really loves you. Agnes loves you, brother. Sina, what do you know about love? I will tell you what I don't know. I don't know why guys don't really get to know who really loves them. And I don't know why people tend to hold the heart that really cares for them. I don't know. Come on, Listen. Have you started seeing him, man? That's not the subject. Is about you, Madam. Honor is not right for you. She can never be right for you. She has a son and... Hey, if you go to the back of the house, eh? If you don't see plates to wash, eh, you can find... Take broom, sweep somewhere. Get busy. I, I just need to be left alone. I need to concentrate. Madam, I, I, I'm just... Hey, 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 hey. Go and find something to do, something useful.
just like a seed planted by the waterside. Love germinated in Mazuli's heart and sprang up even before he could notice. Her beautiful face, her smiles, her voice, the thought of her occupied his mind and left him restless. He had obviously gotten more than he bargained for. I'm sorry I gave to you it. <laughs> you have not answered my question. I was with your brother. <laughs> Mazali. <laughs> Don't worry, calm down. He's not anywhere around here. <sighs> but my love. We can't hide forever. I think we should come out straight. I am a man, fully grown to take care of you. My love, I know. I know. But I just I just need a little time. Just just a little time, okay? That is what you've been saying for the past one year. I know. I know. Very soon. Just very soon. If you say so. I really do <laughs> miss you. My love, I say you do miss me. You know, words cannot explain the facts. No matter how hard I try. No. At least the touch of your fingers. Your flesh. No, the pleasures below. My love, don't make me wait any longer. Any longer. I'm short of words, I don't know what to say. This is too much. Why do you always say this is too much? You and your little boy here deserve a good life. Mm -hmm. You deserve true happiness. Thank you very much. God will bless you. Nana, say thank you to Chief. See what he brought for us. Thank you, Chief. There, boy. I hope you're not giving your mother so much trouble. <laughs> this one, he will not let me rest. I he will see. not let me drink water and drop cup. I see. <laughs> hey. Be a good boy, okay? Hmm? Well, Nana, I'll run now. Ah, Chief, wait, let me bring something for you to eat now. We have a uh, mabacha and coconut. Yes, don't worry, it will be for next time. Hey, no, no, no. Let me, it won't take me long, I'll bring it for okay. you. Okay, leave it for next time. Hmm? Oh. Leave it for next time. Chief, thank you very much. My God will bless you. Chukuga, Hey! Well, Anna, eh? if you need anything, just call me. Oh, Chief, this is more than enough already now. This I'm is... not complaining. Hey. <laughs> Chief, I'll Dalo, see, oh. Dalo, Chuku Goziegi. Hey. Nam, look at what you got for us. Oh, oh. Hey. Don't hey. carry it now. Mazeli, leave it. I didn't hear you coming. That was uh, Denzel leaving. Hey. Look at what he brought for Nan and I. All of this. Hey! He, he is such this. a good man. Yes! He's a good man. With a good heart. Is he? Of course he is. Can't you see what I said he brought for us? I have seen. Hallelujah. 
Now, no, you come. Let's take this. Now, the lady, we are coming. But I can't tell you this. I'll tell you. If you talk about it, if for nothing, to ease your heart of the burden. What do you ask of me? You already know. No one has ever solved her problem by worrying about it. Share it so we can solve it together. Let's forget about my problems and talk about something else. No. It is important we talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. I don't want to talk about my problem. Uh, Silly, you, should, you don't have to be angry. I will just, I'm, I'm a... Mazili? 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 What did I say? I will just... the other side of the compound. Did you not tell him that the food is ready? Oh, Papa, I did though. But he said he's not hungry. Oh, I left him. He's not hungry. Meaning he ate the head of a cow or... <laughs> Papa, la masha. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, mm. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh. You know, young man, you must have eaten outside with this friend. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's outside. Nobody knows. Why do you want to hurt a girl that loves you unconditionally? Yes, Jesus. But you don't love Agnes like you love honor. Do not, do not marry for pity. Marry for love. Ibula 
Yes, I actually think it's the uh, honor. Uh, you know how she and her son are doing. Uh -huh. uh, no, nobody's at home. I've knocked. Nobody's at home. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me go and check myself. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Greet your father for me. Okay. Ona. <laughs> You know, I enjoy coconut. Yes, yes. Uh, with gare. Mm -hmm. I love soaking gare with uh, coconut. Ah, Papa. <laughs> 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 so, Papa, mm -hmm. how is work at the health center? Papa, <laughs> we are trying. I thank God. <laughs> thank God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I brought something for you. Eh? Ah ah. Hey! Hey! All this for us? Hey! Papa, don't buy her. There's nothing there. Agnes, Papa. even though I am old, my eyes can still see. Mm -hmm. Hey! I'm not going to be able to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> I prepared a very delicious salad soup. Mm -hmm. Let me go and get something for you now. Let me go and get something for you now. It's very delicious. You I like it before. You don't worry. Don't worry. I ate for home. Papa, please tell her. Let me get something for you now. Eh? Agnes, this is your house. Eh? You should eat something. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll eat one now. I'll make sure I eat the fine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think I have to leave both of you. Eh? Let me go and uh, break this coconut. Okay, Papa. And also leave both of you for the business. Women know best. Okay, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Where is Marcelo? Oh. That one. He hardly stays at home now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. You mean he's not around? Huh. Marcelo left since morning. Hey! Get more, Toto! Oh. 
sound funny sometimes an invisible force is pulling you to somewhere you can't even explain what invisible force is pulling you to where hey, i think it's I, I i think it's love love hmm. uh, honor eh? you say hey, honor obeses widow obeses widow You mean you are loving honor? Is that where the love is driving you to? Are you with your senses at all? Is this the mazeli that I know? Saying this, talking to me about loving honor. Whatever happened to Agnes? <laughs>
Gradually, his mind drifted away from Agnes, his first love. He never wanted to see her again. His heart was with another. It started like a joke. Then, it began to spread and spread like cancer. The feeling has overtaken my entire system. I have this, my heart pounds for her. I have this desire to possess her. I have tried to fight this feeling, but it lingers. This feeling is so wrong. Wrong? Very wrong. Has your head been so occupied with the thoughts of this girl that you don't even reason at all? You're a young man. You need a fresh woman. Una already has a son. She, she, she's not for a man like you. I mean, she can probably go for a man's second wife, not the first. What you are saying? It's not my problem. What I care about is happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment. Listen, I don't care if Honor has one son, two sons, three sons, or even more. I don't care. This cancerous feeling has eaten way deep inside you to rescue you. It's like a camel passing through the eye of a needle. Impossible. I, I, I wish this feeling will just go away. To be healed, the patient must first minister to himself. Anna, she, she is so beautiful. Hmm. So beautiful. Have you even made your thoughts? I mean, your intentions known to her? No. I don't know how to. Besides, I have this fear that some other men desire her. As well. If a man does not know where the rain starts to beat him, he will not know when it stops. Papa, well, I don't know where this your proverb is headed. It is said that when fire dies, the ashes bear its memories of its white fluffs. You are my son. I gave birth to you, and it is in your place to give birth to another, so that our family name will continue. Papa, we agreed on something. But Mazeli, life is too short. No one knows when death comes. Should anything happen to you, our family name will die. To die. You need a wife. I am not ready for marriage. All I'm, what I'm trying to do now is to make sure that whoever I'm going to bring home is going to worth it. I thought there is someone already. I am not going to marry Agnes. Did she do anything wrong? No. 
Then what is the matter? My heart belongs to another. Tell me, who is the girl that holds your heart captive? Tell me who she is and who her parents are. I'll bring her home in due time. I give you two weeks to make her available. If you don't, I will go and see the parents of Agnes with our kinsmen. I don't want you to embarrass that poor girl. Exactly like my own. I never believed someone could draw a picture of me like this perfectly well. It looks like me. I, I love it. I'm glad you like it. I love it, of course I'm I do. Glad. But how did you manage to do this? It's very simple. I've always had your image in my head. Huh? Even with my eyes closed there, eh, I can see you clearly. Hey. I just remember your fine, beautiful eyes, your lovely nose, your lips, mm. very succulent. I'll do it very well. Come on, tell her you love her. <laughs> I have to go now. Well, you just got here now. Yes, I, I just remember them. I'll be going to somewhere with a do my friend. Hey. Yes. Oh, Mazeli. Go on and tell her how you feel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why do I find it difficult to tell her how I feel about her? Am I a coward? Or what? No. Oh. No. Oh. When a child builds up courage, he touches the python by the tail. Mazeli made up his mind. The truth no, no must problem. be told. Just that, there's something very important I want to discuss with you. Okay. The burden must be lifted. Honor must know how he feels about her. It is time to let the cat out of the bag. What shall be the outcome? Wait, 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 wait. Mazeli, see, I, I, I don't have time for love. Not this year, not even next year. Not even the year after next year, Biko. I don't have time for that. Honor, you don't understand. As you, as you look, as you, as you're looking at me right now, I can't even. I, I don't even know where to start. I can't reason very well. Honor, Mazel, stop wasting your time. As far as I'm concerned, love died with Obiza. I'm not ready for this. Honor. Seeing you gladdens my heart. 
The day would have been so boring if you're not here with me. Mm. Nothing makes me happy in this world the way you do. Your sweet words, your tender touch, it makes my heart race. <laughs> I don't know if I will survive it if you leave me. Leave you for who? You're my soulmate. The one I want to spend the rest of my life with. You will be the mother of my unborn children. <laughs> my love, are you sure? I'm very sure. You see, that's why I've always wanted to meet your father. At least to make my intentions known. Patient, my love. Patient, okay? Okay. Um, um, my love. Mm -hmm. There's something I want you to let me do. I want to talk to my brother, Mazeli. What about? It's about Agnes. I think his, his mind is drifting away from him. What makes you think that? My love is written all over him. He intentionally avoids her. He rarely talks about her. Things are not just right between them. He loves her. I am sure. Maybe they are having a misunderstanding. Mm -mm. I'm sure it's just the normal love us quarrel. Mm -mm. Nothing more. Mm -mm. I don't think so. His mind is drifting away from her. I'm sure. It's not as if my mind drifted away. No. I've been having this serious mind battle with myself. I, I have a lot of decisions to make and I need a time to think about them very well. Why are you torturing yourself unnecessarily? Why? You need to pull yourself together. I think that the best thing for us to do now is to give each other some space.
you. Leave me alone. Mazali, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. such a fine young man. <laughs> He's hardworking and understanding. <laughs> you should give him a chance. Mama. He had better look elsewhere because me, I am not interested. You should be interested. Hmm? You should be. Young. Just look at you now. Look at you. Why do you torture yourself so much? Eh? And look at your hair. Unattended. It is even if it's a little phobia. Okay, it is. Eh? Just look at you. You're, you're almost looking very haggard, like an old woman. Hmm? Uh, nobody cares about the way. But now he's no more. So I'm, I'm not bothered. I, 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 I don't care. He cares for you. He cares for you now. You need to give him a chance to consider him. He's a man in your life. Oh, I might have a nana. Oh, yeah, nana. He didn't ask why. Nana won't give you warmth when cold comes. Why did you do if you cannot convince a small girl over an issue such as this, what else can you ever do in your life? Eh? You claim to be the head of your family, and yet there's no sign of it. This pawn is dangerous. Yet, with calculated and gradual movement, hmm, the snare defies all its dangers. And of course, walks on his over and over again. Hot yam, my brother, must be eating hot, less it turns thick and becomes a burden to the mouth. Eh? And forget about this, your calculated and the gradual distance. I want speed. Udenze, we are going to continue pushing. I know with time, she will cave in. Then turn your words into action and make me happy. Oh, if only you allow me to paddle this raft. Chifudeze, I know that sooner or later, we are going to come out of our storm. Come. Do you think she will concede? Of course. Of course. All we need, let me tell you, is a little more cash. A giveaway. <laughs> a giveaway. And we flash it across her face. And she will be at your beck and call. But she is too gospel, the type that cannot be easily influenced by money. Happy here! Happy by any memoto. All women are the same. All they need is money. Let me tell you, with enough money in her purse, she will be willing to trade even her own mother. Akuya? What are you telling me? <laughs> Oh, them man. We will try that. How are you? I'm fine, and you? We have seen today. Hope all is well. No problem. No problem. It's just that um, you remember that thing I told you the other day. Is is that thing that? Uh, Mazeli, let's I... not let's not talk about that. Please, let's not go down there again. I don't, I, I don't know why you don't seem to understand. This, this feeling overwhelms me. If I don't let it out, I might eventually lose my mind. We've gone through this before. Let, let's not go back there. See, what you ask of me is impossible. It's as impossible as rolling a stone up a hill. Mama, just give me a chance in your life. I'll 
I will give you a reason to love again. Love is dead to me. Love died with Obiezi. Hey, stop saying that now. Stop. Love did not die. It did not die. Let go of these things. Let go of the memories, of these memories, and in face now. Mazeli, hmm? those memory, that memory is what I live for. That memory is what keeps me going. And that memory is what will make me stay in this house till I age and die. And I am not ready to give it up for you or any other man. This you know? is a bad salmon. It's a bad salmon. I, 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 I. Ukubo! Sorry, sorry. Ah, To, to, to go in. Sorry, it's all my fault. I should have let sleeping dogs lie. It's okay, Mazri. You don't need to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, see why? I say you have your heart of gold. You know you are. The blend of everything that is good. Beauty, brain, good behavior, <laughs> everything. You flatter me. No, I am not flattering you. I am not. If I have my way, I will sing your praise all day. I will tell the tale of your beauty to everyone who gets to listen. It's no longer heard sweet words like that. Yeah? If you allow me, I'd like to have a taste of it. Would you allow me? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's beyond everything I've imagined. <laughs> you taste as sweet as
Isn't it? You are up already. Yes, brother. Good morning. You look so happy to go. Yes. I had a very wonderful night of rest after a long time. <laughs> Why will you happen? A lot. Hey, what a brother. <laughs> brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With you? Mm. Okay? Mm. Mm. Okay? Well... No. No. Ah, uh -uh, brother, please, no. Why? I'm not going to share with you. <laughs> brother... No, no! No! Brother, please, no! <laughs> mm -hmm. Brother... <Yes. laughs> Be happy that mm -hmm. your brother is very happy and excited. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> Let me go and prepare breakfast. All right. <laughs> he insists on Wednesday. Nothing more, nothing less. Keep talking, keep talking. 11 years of age. And? He must be a boy. We should have an 11 year old boy in the reserve. Mm. That has been the challenge. The last we had was given out last week. And where is the payment? <laughs> where? It's right on there. <laughs> we should be able to deliver. I don't play pranks, Chief. You better don't. <laughs> We've been on this once. Now there's even greater reason to talk about it again. Hmm? Nine. There is. I know you are the head of this family. Thank God. And you your know. intentions are good towards us. Uh, but the thing is, I want to remain in my husband's house and raise his son. Uh, uh, mm -mm. Don't get me wrong. Eh? See, Nana is also my son. Eh? And, that is, and I want the best for him. That is why I am saying that you need a man in your life. You need a well-to-do man that will help you raise Nana. And then that will help you give him siblings. Nay, getting remarried is the last thing on my mind right now. Oh. I'm not ready for that. Oh, na, listen to me. You will not regret it. Eh? I know some suitors might be coming around, you know, many of them. But let me tell you something. You have to look where. Um, you know um, Chifudenze? I do. Good! You know Chifudenze is very caring. He's generous. Do you know the, important, the most important of them all? He likes you. Huh? Yes! He wants to marry you. He's beginning. Nice. Good night, Polly. Guko. Biko. My stand in this issue still remains no. Mba! I don't want to get remarried. I am not ready for that. I want to stay in my husband's house and protect what is left of his memory. What is this? What is this your thing all about? Protect, protect, protect. This is not my brother's house. What am I doing here? Am I not protecting it? I'm, 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 I'm only saying I, I need the best for you and, and my, my little nephew. Protect, protect, protect. I so I should assume that that is your choice. Yes, Nightbody. I want to stay here. I don't want to go anywhere. Uh, you better think about it. Eh? You better think about it. Eh? Protect, protect. Kachifo. Eh? Kachifo.
Ah, good afternoon, sir. Hello, good afternoon, Honor. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you heading home? Yes, sir. Uh, come in now. Let me come. No, sir. Don't, don't worry. I I I'll see. manage. Oh, I see. Ah, come in. I will join Gabby. Okay, you, you, you insist. I <laughs> Thank you, sir. Like you deserve a better life. Hmm? Chief, I'm used to it already. No. I'm not complaining. No, nobody should be used to poverty. I want to change your life. I want to make you a queen that you are supposed to be. Chief. Oh, nah. See, there are so many things I love about you. In fact, the way you look and the beauty, how beautiful you are. In fact, I admire you too much. So much. Chief, please. Look, I, I appreciate your kind gestures towards my son and I. But this is your line of conversation and touching. I, I, I don't like it. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm now not you overreacting. Stop, yes, stop, 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 stop. Oh, please oh, drop oh, me. Drop oh, me, let me. I said drop me. Oh, let me try. Oh, oh. Papa and Mazili. Oh. They're fine, you know. It's been long you came. I hope there's no problem. Oh, uh, no. Not at all. Oh. Don't be going to see my brother again. Mazili. <laughs> what happened? My dear, we should better not talk about no, it. No, 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 Agnes. Tell me what happened. Tell me. Nothing. Um, we just decided to give each other space. That's it. Space? I don't understand. <sighs> How do I put this? Um, your brother. Your brother wants me to give him time to work out things with his life. So I had to... Ah! Mazeli. Eh? What is wrong with him? Eh? Okay, don't worry. Hmm? I'll talk to my brother for you. Mm -mm -mm. There's no need for that. Let Masley do whatever he wants. I'm okay. Don't I worry. said, don't worry. I'll talk to him now. I'll talk to my brother too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, if you say so. But I have to run along. I'm okay. late. <laughs> All, All right. See you. <laughs> Take care of yourself for us. I eh? will. Bye. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Form of light into my life. Malozelo, he was happy, very happy. 
His love life with honor made him so happy until he decided to take a step further. There is something else I want to tell you. What is that? I want you to be my wife. You understand? What? Responsible for is 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 a door. Which a door? Eh? Huh? Which a door? She may be your friend. Can you name this? Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> Edu! Edu! Edu!
Hello po! Hi! Hello po! Hi! Hello po! Um, he's fine. Miss Weston, I sleep in. Everything will be alright. No need to panic. Hey, what actually happened to him? Uh, I got mine. I was walking out to the front of this house. The next thing I saw, Mazeli, walking into the compound sluggishly. He slumped before me. Just like that? Slumped? Nee, there's no need to panic. It's not as bad as we think. I promise we once he wakes up, I will personally force him to the hospital to have him run some tests. Thank you. Yes. Hey, how can you fool grown man full of energy? Slow just like that. Hey, Dodge. What do my daughter, you say you take me to so. Yes, about that. Thank, Thank you, Bo. I'm sorry about the other time. I got carried away by your beauty. <laughs> oh, nah. I really want to help you. I want you and your son to live more comfortably. Thank you very much, Chief. My son and I, we are very happy. No, you are not. You need a better life. A life far much better than what you live now. A life full of comfort. Hmm? I have heard all you said, Chief. But my son and I, we are fine. And we are not complaining. And we will never complain. Okay. Meanwhile, I got you some things. They are in the booth. Come and take a look. Come back, Chief. I am not interested. You are not interested? Yes, I am not interested. Is it because of the other day? I said I'm sorry. Chief, it's not about the other day. The fact is, I am not interested. Very well, then. Hello? Be brief. Be brief. Okay. I see. I think I have a solution to this problem now. I'll see you later. Hmm? I'll see you later. Cost all this. I told you times without number about our hide and seek relationship. Many a times I told you that we should let people know what's going on between us. But no, you want consent. And now this is it a public embarrassment. My love, my love, I said I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it would get to this. Your brother no. attacked me. He wanted to kill me! Sorry, sorry. Just stop sorry. saying sorry, it makes me angry. Just keep quiet, go home, do any other thing else apart from standing here and telling me sorry. Excuse me. I got more dodge. When night decides to fall in the daytime, we ask questions. What do you think about what happens to Mazelu? Confucian has pitched himself a tent on my head. 
I don't know what to think of anymore. There's a great difference between the carcass of a goat killed by a man and that of a beast. A beast always leaves a mark. Don't you think that what happened to Mazeli is not ordinary? The hawk that carries the chick will not be allowed to carry the mother in him. What do you suggest we do? He who asks for direction never misses his way. We must have to ask questions. Yes. Sorry for wasting your time out this way. Agnes, I'm in love with another person. I wish I could make it up to you. Are you done? Yes, I'm sorry. I wish you luck. I said these words to you not long ago. But you threw them to the wind, making it as nothing. If something had happened to you, Marcelli, 
Is it not obvious that our family name will fade off? Man, I'm alive. It means nothing happened to me. Where are you? Mazeli, I am your father. I am older than you. Get married. Get a wife so that our family name will not die. If it's about the marriage issue, I have come to a decision. And I told you you should bring her for us to see. You already know her. Agnes? No. Then who? Honor. Honor. You are a rotten It's in Who Who did you say? Honor. The business you do. Mwe jilo baroto nse. Oh, mwe jilo they are taking him. 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 They are Who took him? I don't know. I can't find him. I don't know where he is. Oh. I don't know. I don't know where my nana is. Okay. Come on, eh? we'll do everything we can. Mazeli. Mazeli. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> nana. <laughs> You are asking me, what has come over you, Mazeli? Eh? The son of a leopard does not eat grass, so they said, but yours is opposite. You are just acting as if you are not a son of my loins. Mazeli, wisdom has been an age-long threat in our lineage. Why do you like it? Eh? Hey! You don't understand me. You don't. You see that woman out there? She is the only woman I find happiness eh? with. It's again. Papa. She may have been married before. She may have a son. She may never be your choice of a wife for me. But Papa, in her arms, I find happiness, yeah. peace, and fulfillment. Mm. Mm. Not peace, Mazeli. Pieces. I'm alone here, and I know your problem. Opia boga opa irunazo. That is your problem, Mazeli. I want to ask you. Tell me the truth. What did she give to you that took your reasoning? Papa Love. Log it. Nebe. Listen, Papa. I know who I am. I know my worth. And like they say, a, a tiger does not need to go around showing off its tiger too. Oh. <sighs> Razeli, you have chosen your path. But let me warn you, be careful not to get pricked because that path you have chosen is full of thorns. Very well then. Let me go and help her find her son.
when night decides to fall by daytime. Questions must be asked. What happened to Mazeli was not ordinary, Agungwa insisted. She wanted answers, so she crossed the rivers and walked through the forest pathways leading to Ara. Questions must be answered. What happened to Mazeli? well with all. It would only fly in the day and sleep at night. <laughs> Are you going to go to the house? Woman, the answer you seek lies with the gods. Oh, strange words. Strange words. Agungwa was never satisfied. Uduele must explain. The maiden, your grandson, seeks to marry. Has a tie with a river god. A jealous river god. Um, it is a clear case of kidnap, and it is of great importance that we do anything as fast as possible to double cross these kidnappers, else they will go far. Odogu, Odogu, you must do all you can to get that boy. That boy we are talking about is my late brother's only son. Nothing, I mean nothing must happen to him. <clears throat> you don't have to worry. It is our job as the, the community vigilante group to tackle this. Okay. Leave it for us. Very well then. Very well. I must run now. Oh, look, wait. I want to come with you. What? Mazel. Are you sure about it? I said I want to come with you. No, 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 no. It's important to me. I, I have to. Please. Please. Okay. You can come with us. Just a second. This is not the first time it happened. 
Some time ago, a young man fell in love with a maiden who was loved by the river god, Iyofe. Iyofe came in his rage and death dragged the young man away. The maiden was so angered by the death of her lover that she went straight to Iyofe river bank. There, she spat on the face of Iyofe. Iyofe did not kill her, but made her a living dead. She still lives, but worse than a corpse, feeding on her own flesh. Your grandson, just like Mubieze, Anna's first husband, will die. Hey, may the gods forbid. The wrath of Yove was ignited the first day your grandson went to bed with that woman. From what was revealed, sacrifices must be performed as soon as possible to save Mazeli. The forces were already after him. They were prepared to drag him across the primordial marsh onto the Chitonic Rem. What did I do to them? Oh, who did I offend? Who? Who did I offend? Oh, my nana. Hey. Oh, nah. Hey. Mama, Take it easy. It's almost hey. been now. My son is not back. Don't yet. worry, they will bring him back to you. When? Hey. When? Who knows where they have taken him to? Maybe to some country he doesn't even know. Oh, they've used him for money rituals. Ah, oh, my stop I saying such evil words. Eh? They will find your son and bring him back to you. Hey? No. Just calm down. Nana Mo, let you bring hey? him. Calm down. Hi. They'll find your son. Hmm? What will happen to him? Yeah, take this. Hmm? Take this water, please. Hmm? Just take this, eh? Hey. It will come the headache you talked about now. Hey. Eh? 
Chết 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 Nào Con quần nữa Đây Chết chết nào Chết 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 Con quần nữa xong một con bạc nữa What are you insinuating? What are you talking about? I just shared the bread as you told me And I love the kid, I'm very sure But check it, I just, I've checked in and out I can't seem to find the kid if I must, as in you must automatically explain this. How dare you tell me that you don't you just lost the key? I, I just finished sharing them the bread that she is brought them. I'm sure I lost it. And I can't find it. I don't know how it would happen. Just, just get out, get out, go look for others. Go, go, go check the other children and get the other guard. Mazeli, what evil spirit has gotten into him? What evil wank has he taken that is pushing him around? Hey, Mazeli chose his own path. Na bikunu, bikunu, don't say that. You don't throw away a baby with bottled water in anger. Think about your lineage, your late wife, his mother, my only child. She will turn in her grave if she sees this evil before her only fruit of the womb. Such of Mazeli. We must do something possible. We must perform that ritual to boost the growth of Eva. Without you, Dodgy! Without you, Kedu? You're fine. You're fine. Oh, the glory of God. My people, they're fine. They're at least they're fine. Hey, Polly, hmm? please, do you, did you by chance see my son? Uh, your son, Mazeli? I saw him in my late brother's uh, house not too long ago. Um, I'm not even on the yes. Is he still there? Wait. Oh. The right question should be Have you heard about my little nephew that was kidnapped? Um, oh, sorry. I had. Okay. The news is all over the town. Huh? Okay. Can you see what Now, listen. Your son, Mazeli, that you are looking for, eh? Join the vigilante group in search of my little nephew. Yes, he volunteered and we gladly accepted. Hey. Hmm? Please, do you know the direction they took? The direction they took? Uh. 
Your question is like asking me if I know the direction a prostitute takes when he carries a man. Okay. Uh, but uh, you can go around and look for him in any of those uh, forests in our village. Hmm? Oh, look at hmm? the man. Hey, um, Polly. Eh? Did you say any of the forest? Ah, in a chidunti. Ask him, you know, off your dinner by. Oh, we got a easy check, off your easy check. Mobezi, oh, yeah. Mobezi, ah, for. Mobezi, um, quo. Oh, Kaliza, no more on Kifu, ni, hena, bo. He just try in a black forest. I have a strong feeling they are not far from here. That means we'll catch up with them soon. In no distant time. Let's just keep moving. Reasons most times are unreasonable. Between two things, one may happen. Mazeli went in search of Nana, and death went in search of Mazeli. Who saw who first? I don't know, but I think we need more help. I think all you need to do is go back to the camp and bring more assistance. We can't go back to the camp without those kids. We need to really ransack this whole forest and make sure we go back with them. I think that's all you do now. Go. Right there. <laughs> this thing you can run. But unfortunately, you can like, Don't make any silly move out of shit. No, no, no. no. no.
dark cloud, deep waters, gunpowder. The hungry python looms, seeking for a prey. They say it is not the beating of the rain that hurts, but the icy drops of the dew. When death comes for a man, it does not ask of his age. The turbulent river has again drowned an adventurous swimmer. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter in the heaven. A time to heal and a time to kill. A time to cast away and a time to gather. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to be born and a time to die. May the soul of Mazili Adolphus Udoji rest for After the death of Mazili, Udenze and his gang men Amen. were arrested and prosecuted in the law courts. Edumari Dezine. Honor continued to look for solutions, but her problem lingered.